Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Hello, Internet. Today is Friday, April 8th, which means it is time for talking about what you're talking about. Okay, remember a couple of years ago when it seemed like everybody was just giving in to the temptation to buy that book, Fifty Shades of Grey? Ladies were buying it left and right. Book clubs started to meet twice a week instead of once. Then they made that movie out of it. And two years later, no one wants anything to do with it anymore. Charity resale shops have actually started asking people not to donate the book to them anymore. They're getting too many. Oxfam Castle Street Swansea Charity Shop located in Wales. I had to say that 15 times before I got it right. Oxfam Castle Street Swansea Charity Shop in Wales has had to repeatedly ask people to stop sending them the book. We appreciate all your donations, but less Fifty Shades and more 60s and 70s vinyl would be good. They have hundreds of copies, but supposedly there are thousands being housed in a warehouse from all the other local charity shops as well. And the warehouse workers didn't know what to do with all the copies of the book coming in, so they started to build a life-size fort. If you've got an extra copy laying around, send it over there so we can all see how big their life-size fort can actually get. Send it to Wales! Okay, on Wednesday, the Consumer Product Safety Commission announced that they would be recalling over 20,000 scarves made under Ivanka Trump's fashion line because they pose a burn risk to people that are wearing them. Apparently, they did not meet the federal flammability standards for the U.S. Now, these scarves are sold at U.S. retailers like TJ Maxx, Lord & Taylor, and Amazon. Amazon. However, they are manufactured in China. Now, I believe Donald Trump has used many of his recent speeches as an opportunity to criticize companies like Nabisco and Ford who have moved a lot of their manufacturing to other countries. He told an audience on Wednesday that we have to bring jobs back to this country and stop making terrible trade deals. Yeah, I don't think his daughter got that memo. Actress Elizabeth Banks has announced the launch of a new comedy platform for women. It's called hoohaha.com and it aims to help funny women content creators distribute their content to a wider audience. It's a platform for funny lady things. Not to be confused with hahas for hoohahs, which is a website for funny lady things. Hoohaha and hahas for hoohahs. Oh, I know, one of them has a W. Game of Thrones actress Maisie Williams had an interview with Entertainment Weekly this week where she talked a little bit about feminism. While I've always been a defender of the word feminism, she had some pretty reflective things to say about it. I feel like we should stop calling feminists feminists and just start calling people who aren't feminist sexist. You're either a normal person or a sexist. Agreed. Hi, I'm Jenny Chu and I'm a normal person. You know what I mean. In other news, Khloe Kardashian's show Cocktails with Khloe has been cancelled after 14 episodes. Rebel Wilson is not playing Adele in an upcoming biopic. And in an interview with Andy Cohen, Cameron Diaz talked about how in love she is with her husband, Benji Madden. Okay. All right, guys, listen to this story that was posted on Imager this week. Once upon a time, a guy matches with a girl on Tinder. He's not so good with talking to the ladies, and as he begins to chat with her, he misspells the word Christmas and panics, and then sends her a random panda fact to make her smile. Did you know that there are only four zoos in America that house pandas? Merry Christmas to you, too, and I did not. That's your panda fact for the day. I'll be back tomorrow with another. Okay, sounds perfect. Then continues to send her a panda fact a day for 100 days. Pandas need to eat anywhere between 20 to 40 pounds of bamboo a day in order to maintain a healthy digestive system. Good to know. Eventually, she starts to look forward to it. There are approximately 1,000 of these black and white relatives of bears that survive in the wild. I got nervous you were gonna forget about me today. He does this for 100 days, you guys. Speaking of panda poop, did you know that the panda can poop up to 40 times a day? Speaking of panda mothers, female pandas are only fertile up to three days a year. Did you know that pandas can see clearly at night? This is because they have similar pupils to cats. He kept doing it and then she started to send facts back to him and it ended up turning into just fantastic fun until the 100 days were over and his final message. That has been your 100 days of panda facts. Some may say it was pandemonium. It's been a good run. I wish you a fun panda-filled life. Peace out, Panda Scout. No, don't go. She said, no, don't go. But he went. 
There is no date at the end of this story. That's it. That's the story. The end. Okay, guys, I think that's it for this week. Just keep, you know, talking about stuff. I can't... Uh, Till next time, you guys, just bye. I don't understand why the panda guy did that.